These are the best resources to become an SOC analyst. First up is the Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certification. This is a relatively new hands-on certification created by Hack the Box and specifically focusing on defensive security. This means it's for anyone who wants to be an SOC analyst, a security analyst, or incident response. It is specifically made for entry-level professionals, so you don't have to have any prior technical experience to start this program. In the program itself, you'll be performing actual security analysis, SOC operations, and incident response activities in multiple real-world networks. Hacktabox is known for their high-quality learning and training material, so I would definitely consider checking this out if you haven't already. At the end of the certification program, there's an exam that you can take to officially pass and become CDSA certified, and I'll have a link to the Hacktabox Certified Defensive Analyst Certification linked below. I'm actually currently going through the Hacktabox CDSA certificate program, and I'll be sharing more about my experience in a future video. And so far, I really think the material is top-notch and they make it really easy for beginners with their hands-on training and their practice quizzes. Another thing that SOC analysts have to think about when they're considering keeping their data secure and document and cross-team collaboration is around where you're storing your actual data. This is where the sponsor of today's video comes in, Sync.com. Sync.com is a file storage and collaboration platform that helps your teams stay safe, secure, and connected in the cloud. Over 2 million teams trust Sync.com to keep their data secure, where you can connect your internal teams, clients, customers, external partners, all across various different devices and platforms, so everyone is always kept up to date on the latest and staying on the same page. With Sync Pro, you can access your files from anywhere at any time, share and collaborate securely with anyone, and send and receive files through a custom branded client file portal. You can also free up storage space on your computer with files on demand with Sync Cloud Files. All of your data and work is always backed up, plus with security and compliance built in for peace of mind for your team and your organization. Sync's biggest goal is to keep your data secure and your privacy in mind for any documents, data, or files that you're storing on the cloud as well as sharing with others that you work with. Plus, not to mention the cost savings when you're comparing Sync.com to Dropbox and Google. It's simple and easy to use with a user-friendly UI, plus unlimited storage and built-in security features. You can sign up for lower cost, unlimited cloud storage with Sync at Sync.com slash Sandra, linked in my description below. Thank you again to Sync.com for sponsoring today's video. Next up is the Security Operations Center course created by Cisco on Coursera. So Coursera has a number of very popular courses and programs as well as professional certificates that are catered toward entry-level cybersecurity professionals. A very popular one that you may have heard of is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate or even the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Cert. But this course created by Cisco is specifically part of the Cybersecurity Operations Fundamentals Specialization. And one great thing about this course is the fact that it is free to audit the course. And auditing just means that you go through the material that is taught on the course, but you don't get the official paper certification compared to if you were to pay for the course itself, but the training material itself is free. This is a great option to look into if you're already familiar with Cisco or Cisco networking tools, or maybe if you already have a Coursera subscription, and you can take this course alongside your Google Cybersecurity Cert or your Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Cert. In the course itself, you'll be covering an intro to SOC, SOC processes and services, SOC deployment models, how to staff an effective SOC team, SIEMs and security events data, as well as other SOC analyst tools, and finally workflow automation. So this is a very foundational course as you can see, but one thing to note is that this course may not be as hands-on as the other courses that I'll mention in this video, including the previous Hack the Box cert. This one is primarily learning material around videos, articles, and other readings, as well as quizzes at the end of each section. So it really depends on how you like to learn. Some people like hands-on learning, other people like textbook learning, but personally as a beginner, I think you should do some of both. So if you do decide to audit this course for free, then I would also consider another tech certificate or program or course that I've listed in this video to also look into so you can also get hands-on experience with projects alongside just the foundational textbook knowledge. Alright, next up is the Microsoft Security Operations Analyst Associate. This is an official Microsoft certification and as part of the certification you'll be performing triage, incident response, vulnerability management, 
threat hunting, as well as threat intelligence analysis. But you'll also be using Microsoft specific tools like Microsoft Sentinel, Defender for Cloud, 365 Defender, and other third party solutions that they've included as part of this course training. One nice thing about this as well is that you can also review the information for free. So you can go directly on their website right now. You don't even need to make an account and you can review the information. But at the end of it, if you want the official certification for completing the training, then you have to pay for the exam fee to officially take the exam and become Microsoft certified for this certification. But again, reviewing the material can be just as helpful for someone who is a complete beginner just to get an idea of what you may be working on. If you're going into an SOC team for a company that primarily uses Azure or Microsoft as your cloud provider, they do mention that before you take this exam, before you enroll in this certification, you should at least be familiar with Microsoft 365, Azure Cloud Services, as well as Windows and Linux operating systems. So I would say these are pretty general. There are plenty of free introduction videos on YouTube specifically for this, specifically reviewing these topics. If you aren't already familiar with what Azure Cloud is or 365 or even the basics of Windows and Linux operating systems, so that would also be a great place to start if you decide to enroll into this certification. All right, number four on this list is the Let's Defend.io SOC Analyst Learning Path. Let's Defend.io, I think, is probably one of the most popular defensive security learning platforms out there. And what I like about their program is that they cover the foundational knowledge, but they also cover the hands-on practice. Similar to the Hack2Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst Certificate, as part of this pathway, you'll be covering SOC fundamentals, the cyber kill chain, the MITRE attack framework, phishing email analysis, how to detect and investigate web attacks, malware analysis fundamentals, dynamic malware analysis, MSHTML, malicious document analysis, security operations, security solutions, network log analysis, SIEMs, incident management, Splunk, cyber threat intelligence, detecting brute force attacks, how to build a malware analysis lab, as well as how to build an at-home SOC lab. So as you can tell, this is a huge mix of knowledge fundamentals, third-party vendors and tools that, that actual SOC teams use, as well as of course the hands-on experience building your own lab, building your own SOC lab and malware analysis lab. Let's Defend IO also has SOC simulations, so that's another great way to get hands-on with an SOC simulation project that you can easily add onto your resume to add some depth. And after completing this learning path, you'll get the official Let's Defend SOC Analyst Learning Path Certificate. Alright, so last but not least in this video is the Try Hack Me SOC Level 1 Learning Path. While Try Hack Me, along with Hack the Box, are primarily known for offensive security training, this is a defensive training that Try Hack Me hosts to help you become a junior SOC or security analyst. Note that in this training, Try Hack Me refers to SOC analysts and security analysts as the same thing, which, which is sometimes the case depending on the company that you're talking to. Both of these titles and roles can be used interchangeably. But as part of this introduction level learning path, you'll primarily be focused on triaging. So for a tier one SOC analyst, you'll be monitoring and investigating alerts. Most SOCs are 24 seven, but usually if your company is international, there's, there's a follow the sun model where there's a handoff to the Europe region or the Asia region, as well as having recurring on-call hours, which is kind of just a part of the industry. You'll also be configuring and managing security tools, developing and implementing IDS signatures, as well as escalating security incidents to tier two analysts and above. Now this training path covers a lot of different tools. And I think this is probably the most extensive. That is something to note. If you're someone who loves picking up cybersecurity tools, loves tinkering around with them and figuring them out, then this may be the right learning course or learning path for you. Just as an example, they cover their intelligence tools, Yara, OpenCTI, Snort, Network Miner, Zeek, Grim, Wireshark, Sys Internals, Sysmon, OS Query, Wazoo, Itsy Bitsy, Splunk, Autopsy, Cape, and even phishing tools. And I didn't even name all of them on this list. So there's a lot of tools covered on this. So if you're someone who loves digging into tools, this is probably the course for you. Obviously, they also cover the fundamentals of SOC analysts and what you'll actually be doing as a tier one analyst. But just know that you'll be spending a lot of time figuring out how to use these new tools. And what's great is that a lot of cybersecurity tools are open source or free to use or have a free community edition that anyone can use for testing or projects for testing or personal projects so it's a great way to add some tools to your toolkit 
to talk about during interviews to also potentially use in a capture the flag if you're also interested in offensive security while this is an soc training there's still overlap between some defensive security tools and offensive security tools all right so that is it for this video let me know if you guys have any other trainings or programs that you would recommend in the comments below for an soc analyst or a security analyst these are some of the best ones that are also up to date that i found but i'm sure there are many many more out there again i'll have all these linked in my description below if you guys want to check them out and if you do let me know what you think i would love to hear your experience don't forget that you can sign up for a lower cost unlimited cloud storage with sync at sync.com sandra which will be linked in my description below and if this video was helpful to you please consider liking and subscribing as it really does help out the channel i think i'm also going to start posting weekly now instead of bi-weekly or twice a week so just as a little bit of an update to my posting schedule thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye